Hi, I'm Ray Kayati, Principal Product Manager from Oracle. I'm responsible for integration related products from Oracle Business Suite and Web Applications Desktop Integrator is one of them. Here I have a tutorial on how to use key flex field component from Custom Integrator. This tutorial is aimed for system integrators, implementers and developers who are working on developing custom web ADA integrators to extend a business suite application. I have few prerequisites you should be familiar with eBusiness Suite concepts and the relevant eBusiness Suite application and you should know about Web Applications Desktop Integrator, how it behaves and you should be aware of key flex fields concepts as well. The objective of this tutorial is to learn how to associate key flex field validated UI component in Custom Integrator and to see how it works. Let us consider a sample use case. We'll make use of location key flex field from Oracle assets. We'll create a dummy table to hold on the asset description and few segment columns for the key flex field. We will register the table then, and then we'll create a custom web ADI integrator making use of desktop integration framework UI. We will associate a key flex field component to one of the interface attributes. Then we will define a layout, preview the integrator, and as part of that step, we will upload data from the spreadsheet. And finally, we will verify the entries from backend. So here is the table to hold on the asset description and the segment values. I'll run the SQL statements. Table is created. I'll register the table using AD packages. I just fired a select query. Now let's look at the definition of location key flex fail. I log in as operations user. Navigate to application developer responsibility. Expand flex fail. And expand key menu. Click on segments. Now query for location flex fail. If you notice the location flex field has one structure and it has allowed for dynamic inserts, that means that if my custom web ADI integrator makes use of the location flex field, then I should be able to upload a new combination of the values from the spreadsheet and that should get added to the combinations table of the location flex field. Now let's view the segments defined for this flex field. It has four segments, country, state, city, and building, and all four of them are displayed and enabled. Now let us see the definition of the segments. Country segment is associated with a value set, which is an independent list of values. State segment is also associated with the value set and it also has list of values and again it is independent so it's not a dependent list of value. You can similarly view the definition of the remaining segments and I'll skip them just for now. FA locations is the combination table associated with location key flex field. Now we will see the values associated with the segment one Australia. It has one valid combination associated with country as Australia. So let's get started. We will create a custom web ADI integrator using the desktop integration framework. Navigate to desktop integration manager responsibility. Click create integrator. Provide integrator name, owning application. Click on display in create document page. Define security rules by adding functions.
click next provide interface name and we'll make use of the custom table as the interface table this is the table that we created select it and apply interface is created for the integrated select it to view the interface attributes interface attributes are created by default for each of the columns in the custom table now key flex field is a group validation that means that the values in segment 1 2 3 4 will be validated together as a group so for key flex field type of validation we need to create a custom interface attribute and that will act as a parent for this segments 1 2 3 and 4 and we will associate the validation rules to that custom interface attribute that acts as a parent. Click add attribute to define the custom interface attribute. Name it and select a proper data type. Ensure that this KFF parent attribute is enabled and displayed. I will leave the default prompts and define the user hint text that will be shown in the spreadsheet. Click apply. Now you see the custom interface attribute KFF parent added to the list of interface attributes. Now uncheck the display checkbox for each of the segment columns. These segment columns will not be shown in the spreadsheet. Now we will define the group validation. Click view group. Click define group. Give group name and the parent attribute. Select KFF parent. Select the validation type for the parent attribute. Select key flex fail. Group validation details region is refreshed with the fields required for key flex field. Enter and select the location flex field. Use default validation entity and select no for concat segment values. Now enter and select the component name as OE flex component that is the default component provided by Web ADI for key flex fields. Now select the interface attribute segment 1 to 4 as group members. Click apply. View group details. Return to the interfaces page. Move to next step of the integrator wizard. We will skip content and move next. Create uploader from the template. Uploader created from the template has by default four parameters. I'm going to delete the import parameter because I don't plan to make use of the importer as part of this demo. I'm done with my integrated definition. I click on submit. Now I will create a layout for the integrator. Select Integrator and click Define Layout. Create Layout. Give a name and move next. If you notice, we have Asset ID Description and Attribute 7. Attribute 7 is the KFF parent. I will select all these columns and click Apply. Now let's test the integrator. Select the integrator and click preview. I will use the default viewer and click next. Click create document. Webedia document is being created. 
so here we are we have asset id description and location key flex field if you notice we have the titles coming from the key flex field definition for the location segments i'll run the select query to ensure that there are no values in the interface table before i upload the data Now I will enter demo value for the asset ID and description. Double click the column corresponding to the key flex field. Key flex field UI is rendered. I will skip the search alias part. So here I have the location flex field and I have an option to select the value from LOV for each of the segments. I will select Australia as the country. I will check the existing combinations for Australia as country. We have one combination for Australia. I will select it. Click select. It validates the combination. Now I will make an entry for the new combination for Australia. Double click the column for key flex field. Select Australia's country. Existing combination is for Sydney. I will create a new combination for Perth. State is not applicable. Select city as Perth. I will select administration as the building. Click combinations. There are no existing combination with these values. Click continue. Click select. Now let's upload these values. Navigate to Oracle menu in the spreadsheet. Click Upload. Select Flag rows and click Upload. Both rows are uploaded. Let's verify the entries in interface table. You see the values are uploaded properly for the segments. Now let's check the combinations table for location key flex field which is the FA locations table. I'll run a select query for segment 1 as Australia. Now you see we have a new combination added for Perth which we have added from the spreadsheet. So this concludes the demo and I hope it was helpful. Here are a few references for WebADI and desktop integration framework. And I have my email address provided here. Feel free to reach me for any queries and you can reach me with your suggestions and feedback as well. Thank you.